the, the whole Australia, the Australia brawl um, that we hosted. We were hosting Australia here in, in hopes of, I believe, qualifying for the, the World Cup. That it, it turned pretty bad pretty fast. Uh, we weren't playing well, first and foremost. Uh, they came out and they were just handing it to us. So second half starts, and I remember I like I was playing terrible. I think I got a fast break and like cramped up and missed a wide open. It was ugly. It got real ugly. But I'm on the bench, and it was already getting real chippy. Um, it, it was chippy before the game even started in warm ups. Like we almost fought in warm ups. So I, I but, have to uh, ask, what was the impetus for this? It was. It was just. It was built up. So the way the format was at the time, you played home and away. So we'd mm -hmm. already played Australia in Australia mm -hmm. and we played them tough. Like we, we, we came out strong, gave them everything they could handle. They kind of took care of us towards the end of the game and started talking a little bit trash at the end of the game. You know, it was already mm -hmm. out of hand and okay. It was one of those, we'll see you in a couple months. So fast forward to our layup lines and for whatever reason, FIBA can get strict at times in terms of your layup lines. Like you shouldn't cross half court, you know, like usually you run after a layup and then you run back. So for whatever reason, our line gets a little long and we kind of bleed over into the other side, into Australia's side. And they're over here, you know, kind of throwing over, stay on your side. And come to find out one of our guys kind of like trips, like the grade school, you know what I mean? Like kick your foot mm -hmm. out from behind you move. So he, he does that to one of their players in the layup line. And in turn, he turns around and he doesn't know who clipped him, but he ends up like two hand just pushing another guy who had nothing to do with it. So it turns into this whole thing before the game, the game's going and, you know, we're kind of the trash talk is going back and forth, but the second half is where it kind of boils over. The game's getting super out of hand. I think we're down like 30. It, it was just terrible, but there's a play where there's either an elbow front thrown, the same big guy that pushed one of my teammates uh, before the game ends up either throwing an elbow or like one of those after the whistle kind of exaggerations of the arms. And our most mild mannered player, like this guy barely speaks, barely speaks, but he does like one of these flying street fighter punches and just bare, like just brushes them, but it sets everything off. So that's their scrapping. By the time I get up, I'm on the bench at this point. So by the time I get up, you know, I've been around enough fights to check my blind side. So I look down to check Australia's bench to see what they're doing. And Luke Longley is an assistant coach. So Luke Longley's like holding the whole team back with his own wingspan, like nobody's moving. And by the time I look back at my bench, where everybody's on the court, where are, where it's just a melee, like, you can't see some Australia's player. One of their players fell down next to the basket. There's like chairs flying from the crowd. Like oh, it's crazy. So it's one of those things. I'm the captain. So I'm sitting there. I have to go out. I have to at least try to pull people off or something. So as I'm running onto the court, I turn right again. And all I see is Luke Longley. So he's what, seven, two, like 300 something pounds, just like running and I thought he was running at me at the time so I'm like oh my goodness what am I going to do like I can't do anything right now so I'm telling I'm trying to hold him back and he's telling me that his player is he's trying to get his player and when I look I can't see anybody all I see is feet all I see is feet so he's essentially like getting jumped right there like it was it was ugly and you know things get cleared up guys get thrown out and it ends up with just myself and two other guys for our team since, <laughs> since our bench cleared. So we end up finishing the game three on five, but we didn't finish. I, I guess the rule is if you foul out, uh, you can't play with two. So we were just sitting there fouling, just trying to get it over with. It, it, it was all bad. My parents had just flown in for the game. <laughs> they, could just, they came in and they were sitting right there courtside for the whole thing, but it's actually wild that even before the game or after the fact, talking to my dad at dinner, even my dad could sense something in the air. I don't know if that's just being around football and, you know, just kind of that, that pregame kind of stuff that goes on with a lot of football teams and a lot of football games. But he told me like, yeah, I could, I didn't think it was going to be that, but I knew 
something was going to go down tonight. Like I, I could feel it in the air. So that video still gets played back every once in a while. I think Thon Maker throws like a crazy kick, like a kick punch combination. <laughs> it, it was all bad. You know, Andre was I, with us for that one. I think I remember the Twitter commentary actually for this. I, one. I was going to say when you mentioned the the basically yeah. the street street fighter punch and everything, street I was like, it, yeah. I know exactly. I I know what you're talking about now. Because I, I, I it took I, a minute to come yeah. back, but I was like, oh wait a minute, I know this one. I came into it yeah. when somebody tweeted the Philippines is playing Australia three on five, and I'm like. Yeah. What? <laughs> so then yeah, I had to yeah. go backtrack <laughs> and find everything subsequently that happened before that that got it to that point to figure out what was going on. So yeah, it, it was all all bad. But one of those things I, I like to think is it's water under the bridge. Even in an interview, I saw Jordan Clarkson is now he, he's he's Filipino, so he's Filipino and black, but he's teammates with Joe Ingle. So I I, I heard they have some jokes with that stuff. <laughs> Just going back and forth with the Philippines and Australia. Yeah, I was gonna say you have to approach it. You, you, ha- you got to broach that topic at some point between yeah, the two of them as teammates. You, nothing you could do. The, ele- the elephant in the room, definitely. Exactly. Yeah. 